And I have traveled I-26 most of those 40 years. After decades of driving back and forth on I-26, Matthew Prophet says he's ready to see changes made to the highway. One of my biggest concerns is the uh, lack of use of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, mile marker 202 rest area. Tuesday night, Prophet voicing his concerns at the South Carolina Department of Transportation's public meeting at North Charleston City Hall. DOT officials discussing a new I-26 corridor management plan. This is the, the beginning of that plan. The DOT is starting from the ground up and kicking things off by asking the public for their thoughts on ways to improve I-26, especially when it comes to traffic. We don't drive the roads every day, so we're looking for that input from the public. Adam McConnell is the project manager for the city of North Charleston, but he drives I-26 every day. He says he's looking forward to some changes as well. I think the biggest challenge is not necessarily the volume of traffic, although that is a problem. Uh, I think it's the uncertainty of how long it's going to take from point A to point B. Other ideas discussed were adding carpool lanes, upgrading traffic lights to synchronize traffic getting onto the highway, utilizing ride sharing services to reduce travel demand during peak hours, and more. The DOT will focus on 34 miles of I-26 from downtown Charleston to State Highway 27 near the Ridgeville exit. The DOT says they will have another meeting within the next year to discuss their findings and how they plan on proceeding with the I-26 corridor management plan. Officials are accepting suggestions and concerns through the end of August. In studio tonight, Deanne Roberts, Count on 2.